What's up guys, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we're gonna to be talking about an ABS code, a C1234. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Fuck all that shit. Now a C1234 is a right front wheel speed sensor input missing code, meaning that the computer isn't receiving the data from the right front wheel speed sensor, or actually the ABS module, I'm sorry. Now how this works is from the moment you turn your key on, the ABS module sends a reference signal to the speed sensors and then it sends it back to verify that they're working. Uh, how this works is you have your wheel speed sensor on each wheel, or usually you have them on your front wheels and then one on your diff somewhere, or, or one on all four wheels. And then you have what are called tone rings, and these are usually on your axles. Your axles are your hubs, your hub assemblies, whatever. And your speed sensor is over. Here's your tone ring. It looks like a ring with a bunch of teeth on it. And then here's your sensor. So as this spins, the sensor is reading the teeth. It's, it's gibberish. I'll show you in a picture. So I get a C1234 C1, code today, and I'm like, eh, you know, whatever. So the first thing I do, hook the scan tool up, go for a ride. Now this is the craziest shit ever. Like I, this could have fucked me up. I, I fell upon this on accident too. So I'm looking at the data. First go into ABS, go into data, go for a ride and make sure what you want to look for is that all your speed sensors, your left front, your right front, your left rear and your right rear are all at the same numbers because as long as they're all at the same numbers that means they're working properly. If you have three at say 39 miles an hour and then one's at eight, well then you know you've got a bad wheel speed sensor or something's wrong. So in my case, all four of them were right on the money, literally right on the money. So I get back, I'm like, all right, so figure it must be an intermittent problem because everything was legit. He said his ABS light was coming on, we got it, the ABS light wasn't on. So I had other things to do in the vehicle, so, uh, and do those I'm just looking over everything at the same time don't see anything out of whack and there everything looked fine the tone ring looked fine well <laughs> my boss comes over he's like yeah you know ask me what's going on and stuff and I'm like ah, da, 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 I checked this this and this so far and I was like yeah I checked the tone ring and I grabbed the tone ring and turned it with my hands and the fucking thing just spun and I was like what I thought I checked the tone ring, well, like, because I only visually inspected it. So now I learn always hands on inspect the tone ring. And sure enough, it had a hairline crack in it. And it would bind up in certain spots and stay there. And then when it broke free, it would spin, cause an inaccurate reading, which would trip the ABS slight and trip the code. So just a little food for thought when you're checking, obviously go hook your scan tool up, go for your ride, first way to check, make sure all your signals are good, and then if you have a bad one, do your resistance test and check for any broken wires or, or anything of that nature. Don't just go and throw a sensor on it. Now again with these Fords, because this is a, a Ford vehicle and Ford coat, you sometimes can buy the tone rings and just switch out the tone rings. In this case I wasn't able to but I had to get the axle, but in some cases you can just get the tone ring. You can swap, take the, well, the old bad, the old tone rings already off, so then you just, uh, I, I believe you sweat them on. I've never had to change just the tone ring, but I imagine you sweat them on, meaning you heat them up so they expand, put them where you want them on the axle, and when they cool down, they shrink and they stay on there. Uh, I've done a lot of flywheels that are like that, just a round disc plate, and then you get a ring with the teeth on it, and then you sweat the ring and then you put it over the plate and then it falls on and then as it cools off it shrinks. That's for heavier equipment. So this might help somebody. If you ever run into this coat, always grab that tone ring and uh, and turn it because you never know. You never know what it could be. In this case, you know, like I was like, well, I, when I when I see the scan data and I don't see, you know, I see no problems, I'm like, well, this might be a tricky one or, you know what I mean, I might have to hunt some wires down or this or that. And then sure enough, 
I just grabbed it and that's okay though because I love diagnostics. I love learning more and more every day. And like I say, I got the greatest people teaching me. I absolutely love it. You know, like they do a great job. I learn so much every day and shit like this just tickles my taco. I absolutely love it. So remember guys, C1234 code, right? Uh, wheel speed sensor. And this goes for any side, anyone. Always check your tone rings. Don't overlook your tone ring. Uh, make sure there's no broken teeth on your tone rings. That's another one. If there's a broken tooth on your tone ring, that's going to fuck everything all up. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's very important that those signals are reading everything properly and bringing the information back to the ABS module. Because if they're not, that can also cause premature actuation of the ABS module. I've seen that plenty of times uh, where you're just coming to a stop. A lot of Chevys, you're coming to a rolling stop and then your ABS automatically engages. Well, uh, it just, well, it starts to engage. 99.9% .9 of the time, you need hub assemblies. Well, it's a sensor, but you can't uh, you barely ever get them out on certain vehicles. It's just easier to replace the hub. I know it sounds crazy, but the, the time you spend fighting to get them out, if you get them out without breaking them, you could have done other, th other things. That's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. I learned something today. Maybe you guys learned something. So I keep I'm sticking honored. like a metronome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Oh, just let me oh That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Oh, just let me oh That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh